You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back, Rude Trance, for our Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about NFL legend, Hall of Famer, one of the greatest safeties we've ever seen in the game, a guy that was all world on the field, man, intelligent football player, studied film. Had some great chess matches on the field with Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, things of legend involved with those legendary Ravens defenses. Ray Lewis, Terrell Suggs. I would assume Suggs will get in the Hall of Fame as well. Um, Wow. Wow, what a defense. What a defense. So, Bethune Cookman. I did a video the other day where Ed Reed went on a legendary rant over the conditions at Bethune Cookman and their facilities. He talked about what how his office looked, that it was completely trash, nobody bothered to even clean anything. He said he'd been outside picking up trash. And he went on a rant about the lack of commitment from a historically black college and their commitment to student athletes, the students, the location, the conditions of the location, how committed were they to the kids themselves? Ed Reed is obviously very passionate about this. I guarantee you there are things politically me and Ed Reed don't see eye to eye on. But the welfare of these kids, yeah, we would see eye to eye on. You bet you. So Ed Reed has come out. He's released another video. And Ed Reed lost it again. And then... He was joined in an Instagram Live from primetime himself, Deion Sanders, another Hall of Famer. Of course, he is now the coach of the Colorado Buffaloes, formerly of Jackson State. And it was clear Ed Reed already was putting this college on the map and bringing real publicity, much like Deion did with Jackson State, to this college. This college decided they couldn't come to a contract agreement In other words, they didn't want to give Ed Reed the resources he needed. He truly needed to help these students out. Let's get to this, and then we'll get to the videos, because Prime sends him a really powerful message. It does involve uh, thoughts, prayers, things that it seems like is, is finally kind of starting to make its way back into sports. It took the DeMar Hamlin situation. Jim Nance was talking about that today on Ryan Rosillo's podcast, that it was okay to talk about prayer again in sports. Ed Reed won't be the head coach at Bethune-Cookman, claims university will not be ratifying contract. The NFL Hall of Famer Ed Reed will not be the next head coach at Bethune-Cookman after negotiations failed to ratify his contract. In late December, the university announced, quote, an agreement in principle with Reed to be the head coach of the program after the Wildcats went to a nine. But Saturday morning, Reed released a statement saying he, quote, couldn't make things work with Bethune-Cookman. Bethune-Cookman University has been working with my legal team to craft contract terms with the language and resources. We knew we needed to build a successful football program, Reed wrote. It is my desire to not only coach football, but to be an agent of change that most people just talk about being. However, many weeks of negotiation, I've been informed that the university won't be ratifying my contract, won't make good on the agreement we had in principle, which had provisions and resources best needed to support the student-athletes. So when push comes to shove... The university looks like it would not come through with the commitment that was needed. Let's listen. Now, there's about eight minutes of video out there of him talking about this. This is about a minute of it, and then we'll go to Dion talking to Ed Reed. After playing in what we started doing, young man. <laughs> Let me try. Oh, yeah, I curse. And y'all have heard curse words before. And they got parents in here. And no, I don't want to leave. And like I told you, I want all these recruits. But they got some corrupt people in this world, some evil people that don't care about kids like I do. 
So I want y'all to hear the truth from me. I ain't withdrawing my name. I got the receipts. They got all kinds of stuff going on around here. Hoarding these buildings with nothing but trash in them. You understand me? And Dion was right. And I know I'm right. And they got some people in here who be stitching to their ass. And I work with Munch Judas as Jesus walked with him. And I ain't have a problem with it. Because even Jesus prevailed. Sir. And what God got for you, no man can take it. Okay, so there's one thing very clear about that coming from Ed Reed. He talks about corruption and not having the best interest of children in mind. I don't blame him for being pissed. Enter Dion. What's up, big bro? Hey, I love you, man. You know that, right? Yep. We talked about this. We talked about this. We know the structure, we know the order, we know how it was gonna play out. And you've been there fighting. I know what you're feeling, I know what you're going through. You got to understand, Ed, God has a time and a place for you, my brother. And I know your heart, I know everything that's going on inside of you. You know, I know you like a book. And I know how you feel about them kids and I know you do not want to leave those kids. So I'm praying for you right now, man, because this is going to be the toughest thing you ever had to do in your life. Sometimes, Ed, you got to walk away, my brother. I know it's tough. I know you don't want to hear it. But sometimes in life, we got to walk away. You already know, big bro. I'm pretty you didn't, let, you didn't let nobody down, Ed. You didn't let them kids down. You did what you was called to do, and you tried your best. Thank you, big brother. I love you, man. I'm here. I will be on the next flight if you need me. You know that. Nah, you good. You handle your okay. business. You know okay. that. I'll give you a call. Please. Hey, you know what God wants from you, man, and be that. Don't let them provoke you, my brother. I, I love you, man. Bro. All right. Yeah. So Dion's talking about don't let this bring you down. And look, Dion's aware. There's certain things Ed Reed can't even control, even with his clout, his power, right? His influence, obviously bringing the NFL with him um, in his background. He calls him out. He flat says the word corrupt, not having the best interests of students, not really caring. Yeah, Ed Reed, what Ed Reed's done here is he's peeled back the curtain. Him and Dion's done some exposing over the last while, last year, too. I guarantee you, this is going on at all kinds of universities across the country. Best interests of the students and the student athletes? Nah, not really happening. Not really happening. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Dion telling him there's just certain things he's not going to be able to control i like ed reed's passion though i do peace i'm out till next time black and white network supporters make sure you go over and check out the black and white network merchandise store 25 percent off usa first 25 percent off usa first go now thanks for watching the show be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to tune in next time on black and white sports